Welcome to our vlogs. Ang next tutorial ay ang paggawa ng ating HTML or web design. Ang tools needed in developing an HTML document, we have two tools, the text editor and the web browser. This is my web browser and the text editor, notepad, and This the two tools na gagamitin natin para makapag-develop tayo ng ating web design using the HTML. Okay. And our HTML structure, we have HTML, head, title, body, and opening and closing. Okay. Let's start to code. Yung ating bracket. Okay, let's start for the opening tag. Follow the closing tag. Okay, HTML for the opening. Then for the head opening. Okay, let's close na natin. HTML. And opening ng HTML, closing ng HTML. Then the next is the closing ng head at yung ating title. And also closing ng title. And the next opening ng body and the closing ng body. Okay? Ito yung structure na itinatype natin bago tayo mag-start mag-coding. One, a web page, it consists po ng isang structure na kailangan natin. Okay? Bago kayo mag-add ng any content to your website, kailangan muna natin na ilagay yung ating structure ng HTML. Okay? We have four. The opening and the closing HTML, the opening head and the closing head, the opening title and the closing title, and the opening body and the closing body. Okay, HTML nagre-represent kung sa ang language ginawa yung design or yung coding. Yung head, ito po yung magiging title natin sa taas ng ating browser at okay at nakalagay siya sa taas and this is the title. Dito natin ilalagay yung pinaka-title ng ating page. And the content dun sa page mo, dito mo ilalagay sa pagitan ng body. Okay. After ma-code yung ating structure, the next is to save. Let's start to save. File, save us. Then locate kung saan ilalagay. Sa desktop lang sa akin. Then this is my sample point htm you need to uh, add the extension dot htm para yung ginagawa mo sa notepad ay ma-open o ma-display dito sa browser kasi ang ating notepad by default ang extension niya ay text okay tapos save na natin Yan na po, yung sample point htm natin, na-save ko na. Okay, locate ko lang, eto yon Yan yung kanyang magiging itsura once na sinave natin siya as html o htm, yung three extension lang. Okay, kung i-open natin siya, double click lang para yung etong kinode natin is lumabas sa browser. Yon, Okay, ito na siya. Naka-double click. Ang browser ay dinidisplay niya lang yung na-code mo dito sa ating notepad. Okay, dahil wala pa tayong anything na nilalagay sa ating sample notepad, wala rin tayong makikita sa ating browser. Okay, let's start to add title. Okay, from title, yeah, sample HTML. Coding. 
Ayan. Okay. Then, try to save na lang natin. Kasi existing na. Hindi natin kailangan i-save us. Save na lang. Then, sa ating browser, dahil naka-open na siya, try to refresh na lang para makita lang natin itong kinode natin or inad natin sa title. Refresh. Then, automatic, dahil yan ay title, under ng head, makikita natin siya dito sa taas ng ating browser, sample HTML coding. Okay? Now, dito naman sa content, dito dapat yan ilalagay sa pagitan ng body. Okay? Sa pagitan ng body, kung maglalagay tayo, right? example, okay, uh, welcome to my web page. Okay, wala mo na ako any togs na ilalagay para mas makita lang natin kung ano yung mas kalalabasan. Tapos save. Then, refresh. Okay, ito nga yung, yung nilagay natin. Any content na ilalagay mo between the opening body and the closing body, okay, dito siya lalabas sa browser na to. Dito lahat mapupunta sa content. Okay, to add sample togs, lagyan natin para mas makita natin yung difference kapag sinulat lang natin without tags or any additional attributes, kay normal text lang ang lalabas. Ganyan lang po yan makikita natin. Now, to add some code, kay like for example, the headlines or the headings, kay yung ating headings is yung H1 natin, kay heading 1, and closing natin, this container tag. Tapos, save natin. And, refresh. Yan. Okay, yan po yung kinalabasan sa tag na to. Okay? Ngayon, dito sa sample tutorial, ang dapat nyong maintindihan muna is yung structure ng ating HTML. Kailangan maintindihan ninyo kung saan siya ginagamit. Yung HTML, closing and opening, head, closing and opening, title, closing and opening, and the body, closing and opening. Okay, at kung saan mo ilalagay yung mga content for your website and also the title. Kaya kapag ka na-memorize nyo na itong ating structure, the next is the body, yung mga laman or additional mga togs na dapat ilagay. Okay, ang isa sa mga... Uh, additional togs na makikita nyo dito ay ang ating H1. Ito ay ginagamit for the headings. Ito yung may content na formatting na. Okay, ito ay ginagamit for the title. Okay, meron tayong heading 1 to heading 6 okay, na pwede mong gamitin. Different headings, meron siyang sariling format and also yung kanyang font size. Medyo malaki yung font size kapag heading 1. Then, let's try to add all of the headings from 1 to 6 para makita natin kung ano yung difference between the heading 1 to heading 6. Okay. Once na nakapag-code na tayo, all you want to do, you can copy. Tapos, replace na lang natin. Copy ko muna. Okay. 2... Heading 2, 3, Okay. Same content or pwede yung baguhin yung content na yan. Bahala kayo kung gusto nyo baguhin. Yan. Copy ko ulit. Four, four, five, five, and the last one is six. Okay, six and six. Okay, tapos pwede nang baguhin yung mga laman.
Yan. Okay, tapos let's save. Para makita natin itong mga to dito sa ating browser. Okay, file, save. Tapos refresh natin to. Yun. Okay, makikita natin yung different eddings. Meron pong iba-ibang uh, format. Okay, ito yung pinaka-heading 1 natin. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Yung 6 natin ang pinaka-smallest uh, heading natin at yung pinaka-largest heading natin ay ang heading 1. Okay, for our headings, meron siyang mga attributes. Okay, what if kung gusto mo siyang ilagay? Kasi by default, ang ating alignment ay nakalagay sa left side. Kaya lahat sila naka-left side. If you want to add an aligned, alignment sa ating headings, you can add tag attributes. Okay, ang tag attributes ay dinadagdag sa ating opening tag. Okay? Click natin to. Space aligned ay equal quotation. Okay? Pwedeng center or right. Kasi by default naka left na eh. Okay, save ko lang. Then refresh. Yan, naka-center na. Okay, let's try to change naman yung isa pa. Same pa rin, Al aligned. Equal, quotation, right. Okay, tapos save. Then refresh. Okay, and that is a sample tags using the eddings. Okay, let's try to add the paragraph. Okay, paragraph under additional tags. Okay, example. Okay, this is the example paragraph lang. For the tags naman, the tags for the paragraphs letter P. Okay, equal P, opening, and the closing. P. Okay? Pwede mo siyang ilagay within the headings kung saan mo siya gustong ilagay. Example, yun na lang. Yung positioning niya, cut na lang natin, lagay natin dito. Yan. Tapos, yung laman, this is a sample paragraph. Okay? Pahabain na lang natin. Copy, paste. In-enter ko na. E parang hindi masyadong ganun kahaba dyan. Ayan. Then, let's try to save again. File. Save. Ayan po yung paragraph natin. Okay. Tapos, refresh natin. Ayun. Ayan na yung paragraph. Okay. And this is the sample paragraph. Kasi nilagay ko siya dito sa ibaba ng aking welcome to my web page. Okay. Yung positioning, kayo bahala. Yung uh, layouting, yung design, nakasalalay sa, sa inyo kung paano yung magiging layout ninyo sa uh, inyong uh, web page. Then, let's try to add additional tag attributes. Okay. Kung ang ating uh, paragraph, makikita natin, pwede natin siyang palitan yung alignment. Okay, by default, nasa left side, you can change the right side or uh, center o kaya justify. Pwede yun. Okay, let's try to add justify para yung both side nila from left to right side equally pantay. Okay, dito sa may opening ng ating uh, paragraph, align, equal, quotation, justify. Then, save. Let's refresh natin. Ayan na. From left to right side, pantay po yung paragraph. And that is the use of justify. Okay? We have uh, two tags included sa ating sample structure HTML. That is the heading and the paragraph. Okay? Just try to explore yung mga coding para mas ma-enjoy nyo 
yung tamang positioning and news every tag. Okay? For the additional tags na pwedeng gamitin ay ang ating HR. Okay? Ang HR naman ay ginagamit to add a horizontal rule o line para maglagay lang kayo ng line. Okay? For horizontal, we have uh, or HR, we have uh, additional tag attributes, the aligned, the size, the width, and the color. Okay? Pwede mo siyang i-add. Okay, natin dito. Sa aking welcome to my web page. Okay. HR. Then save. Refresh. And this is the line. Horizontal rule. Yan lang ang news ng ating HR. Mag-provide ng line. Okay? Then you can add a, a tag attributes using the color. Quotation. Then the size yung color. Uh, red. Tapos save. Then refresh. Yan. And color natin. Okay? You can add also the width. Space, the width, rotation, kasi by default, 100% yung width niya. Gawin natin siyang 60%. Okay. Save. Then, refresh. Yun. Ayan na po yung width. Na, uh, hindi na siya ganun hanggang sa pinakadulo. Okay. Let's try to add the size. Same procedure pa din. Uh, equal, quotations, the size. Like for example, 10. Then save. Then refresh natin. Ayan. Medyo kumapal na. Okay. And the alignment, by default, yung alignment niya, kung makikita natin, nag-center. Okay. Pwede mo siyang baguhin from left side to right side. Using the aligned. Okay. Right. Okay, quotation, write, then save, refresh. Okay, pag nagko-coding, try to add uh, additional code, tapos i-refresh sa browser para madaling ma-check kung, tam kung tama or may mali dun sa coding na ginawa. Okay, mas, mas nade-detect yung uh, pag-fix ng problem sa notepad Kapag kakadagdag mo lang yung nilagay mo sa notepad, then try to refresh. Kaysa i-type mo lahat-lahat ng gagawin mo, then saka mo lang siya titingnan sa browser. Mas mahirap mag-fix ng problem once na gano'n ang ginawa. Kaya mas advisable na every time na magko-code, code sa notepad, then refresh sa browser. Code sa notepad, refresh sa browser. Para nakikita nyo kung nag-work ba yung coding na ginawa ninyo. Okay, and now, this uh, end of my tutorial okay, about sa HTML structure, paggamit ng additional tags, the headings, the paragraph, and the horizontal rule. Okay, I hope na ma-explore nyo pa yung mga iba pang mga tags and wait for my next tutorial. Thank you.